Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. I think a frog jumped in my throat before he started that. Going to paint the door, and also I'm going to paint a little bit on the quarter panel on the other side. When we picked it up, it had some uh, visible uh, paint falling off there, filler falling off there, and what I did is I replaced it, and the reason being is I had the time to replace it. Why paint this side and not paint the other side at the same time? But uh, what I did do, if you want to come take a look, that side is black. We figured that we were going to do it in black. That way there we're hoping the paint covers. So there's the there's the repair I did down there. And I'm going to show you exactly what I did. I, I did the, the fiberglass thing because I didn't buy no body fill. And then I did the, the two-part putty that goes on so nice. Sanded it with 220 was the finest I sanded it with. I'm doing a just a spot repair. Uh, what can I say? As I was doing it, hit the door with the DA sanding the, the putty, knocked off a little more paint. <laughs> it's just, that's the way it goes. I kept that piece just in case we want to put it back on. But uh, this side here is where I left off. It was a 220 grit is where I left off. And I'm just going to put a, a black lacquer spray bomb on it and we're going to paint it and then we're going to get to see what it looks like. Not fixing this, not fixing this, that stuff. Just want to get the visible, uh, bigger, rough stuff taken off. Not fixing any of this. You can see all this stuff. It's still the same way it is. I'm not trying to destroy anything. I got to... You're going to have to excuse me for a second, sweetheart. You can set that camera up. Joanne's going to help me uh, put some plastic over top of the cars. And that way there, I w we won't get no uh, paint on top of that. So let's get ready and paint this bad boy. I'm going to put them right there. Thanks for coming back, everybody. I really appreciate it. I'm sure Jolene appreciates it. Yep. What's that? Yes. Yep. All right. This is quite dusty, but let's face it. I'd rather have this laying on the cut. Just a second, second, second. Is it? I'm not sure what's going on here yet. Yeah, I throw all the dust on the car again. Just gonna lay this over top of the Volvo so we don't get a bunch of paint on it, I guess. I don't think we're gonna get much overspray, or I hope we're not gonna get much overspray. I'm not going crazy, or hope not to. Ah, are you down over the front or? Uh, yep. I'm not sure what I got going on over here, but there's a lot of it, and it's not going my way. No wonder I was tugging the boom game. Mm -hmm. Huh? Say, holy smokes. There we go, I got it now. This plastic has got a little rope around it. Uh, in, a con in a wet area, I wouldn't think it would be a good idea because it would keep all the condensation underneath of it. But on a rainy day, it would keep the rain off it. Um, what am I gonna do now? Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's put a, I'm gonna put some paper in the places that we know um, are close by, and that's quarter panel, the window, the cow, the running board, that sort of stuff. We'll get that papered up real quick. Nice. Um, if you want, I'm gonna give you this, sweetheart, some Windex, and we'll just wash. Maybe just wash the door and the, the fender and that sort of stuff. Don't worry about the running board or anything. And then what we'll do is we'll wash this area. Just wash it, clean it off. Um, and then we'll tape it off and go for it. We'll go and get the paper. I sort of had a, an idea. I generally have a lot of ideas. I don't know why I do, but I do. You know that Ford sign we have in, in, in the other shop? Sweetheart, you know that old Ford sign we got from James Harlow? Uh, yeah. I think it's yeah, it says uh, Ford Auto Sales and Parts and all that stuff. I like to paint that on the door. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, it's, it's a good looking logo. And she's just being careful because the door still got cracks in it. I didn't fix all the cracks, didn't fix everything. I tried to stop at a, at a certain area or a certain amount of, yeah. I want to leave as much as I can of the originality and make it look the best it can at the same time. 
I know it makes sense to some, but not all. Here, sweetheart. You want to hold me tape or you want to tape me hold? Uh, I can tape. So you're my lady. Mm -hmm. She's my lady. I'm, I'm going to get this up here somewhere. I peeled the other stuff off. Reason being is I blew the car off. It was quite, quite dusty. And uh, you can go for it if you like. Yeah, I'm get this. Okay. You don't have the other one? I did. I just didn't bring it over as a wide one. That's okay, take your time. It's a little bit past the... I know, I see it. Just you got your eyeballs got that? Yeah. I will say one thing about the more reasonable tape. It's not cheap. More reasonable price tape. It, it goes on when you're taping something off, if you're repainting something and you're taping it off. Uh, I'll say this, that, that, ah, that tape has a little less, you know, uh, strength, I guess, when it comes to pulling the paint off, like it does. It has a little less strength, which is nice when you're repainting something like this, because if you're repainting something like this, um, we have all the potential in the world of um, pulling paint off. And when you go over ribs like that, you really ha you can't, you're not allowed to stretch your tape over top. You have to stop right down, get right in the groove, and then stop down again, and then get in the groove, and then stop down there. We'll go from there. Maybe you should stop your horn and get the... I'll do this. You do the taping. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tape. You can tape it along the windshield because I can hold it. Okay. And you can do little pieces if you like. And we can... Fantastic. I'm doing a very good job there, was I? Really don't really want no hard lines. That's tape on top of paint. Come there. All right. If you want to run a piece of tape up there, that'd be fantastic. Let's uh, as long as we're on a piece of tape on the running board and end up a fender. I'll take that one next ball there. Can we slide that right in? Slide that right there? Yep. Or do and you want me to tape it? Tape it right to the sill there if you. Um, let's pull it back a little bit so you can cover that. Pull it back. Yep. Go for it there. Um, just tape it on the quarter panel. Right there. Okay. Yeah, just rip pieces off. It's going to be a lot easier. If you're pressing too hard, you're just going to rip it. Okay. All we want to do is keep the, the paint off. We're not trying to. We're no competition for the. How strong the tape is on. Basically, a little piece down there, a little down there would be fantastic. Well done. I bet you everybody wishes they had an assistant. <laughs> as good as you, Jolene, baby. You want that paint? As you might as well give me just a little, well, yeah. maybe stick a little tape on that. I'm just going to leave that door open for some reason. I'll just stick it right there. Yeah. Stick another piece on her. It'll hit, the second piece will hit it. If you missed the first time, do it again. Okay. You got it. You got her. All right. Is that paint there? Or is that tape or? Put a little tape on that right there, will you please? Please and thank you. And a little tape. See it right there, a little black there? I'm gonna wipe that off after. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get the wider stuff and shove down inside the, nope, not the wider stuff, but the, yeah, there's another, should be another roll here. There it is. I know why we're not using it, because it's all dusty and been on the floor, but got to use you it. You want me to? Let's get some tape down in there. That'd be better if we get some mm. tape down in there a little better. Probably just stick it down in there somehow. It's not going to try to get up in there, but in all honesty, that's where we're at, down in there, so. Mm -hmm. I'll let you get that. Now. I'm going to wait for Jolene. Nope. Got to cruise on. Got to cruise on.
screws on. Um, and the reason I got a cruise on because we got to get this bad boy done. You want to? I will take a. You know, we probably should have a piece there. You know, shouldn't have walked away that fast. You're right. We should have a piece there. See this? You must put your camera back, sweetheart. Ah. Can you take that? Like right there. Um, I just want to get take that right here, and then you can take it back wherever you can get it. Just I don't think you're going to get it to stay back, but as long as it, should maybe a little bit on that, and then we'll bring the plastic down over. Huh? <laughs> went the plastic went behind that, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Well, we can all just leave it like that for now, I guess, and then we'll come back to the plastic. If it deals with it, we'll deal with it, and if it don't, we'll, we'll rip it off. There's only a few pieces of tape. So at this side, I'm just going to clean off. Ah. I'm going to wash everything off. And the reason being is, that's generally what you do with everything. You wash it off. I've used Windex, Windex just wash it off. We've already washed this car once, but it probably deserves to be washed a few more times and it's only been washed with spray nine so uh, the windex is the pre-wash this is what i'm washing with it right now is windex just trying to clean it off the best i can also um i don't know if i showed you before i use windex full time full time on pre wash for pre-washer cars probably showed you before but now you can buy windex auto Who's crazy? Not me. Ha! <laughs> Not me. So I just want to get this place um, kind of washed down so I can apply some paint there. I did not do any more work than I had to, possibly had to, to put a little paint on that, fix that. I'm not going to, I'm not sure about that door part there, I'm just going to leave that for now. It is what it is. I got that piece, I can glue it back on maybe or something like that. I did pull a little paint off there the first time and I was saying it did pull off a little bit of paint, but that tape there is the, I would say the better stuff or something like this. Um, how do I want to go about this, I guess? It's a small area. I don't feel like I should have to mask up everything, but we'll put a piece of plastic on it in case. Nope, got to tape everything off first. Need my glasses. Yeah, I didn't have to do that, I don't think, but I went for it. Very hard place to fix and not touch anything, but I did it. I did it! And the old guy that owned this car would be very happy. By God, son, you did it. Let's get that pulled out of there. I don't want to get anything on the paint. I want to put paint on the car. I'm trying to get it on that piece of... Uh, fender felt, I guess. Fender felt. I put another piece in the corner just because. Better tape job, better luck, I guess. Now I thought about taking off the fender and the running board and all that stuff. When I got to thinking, I said, "Nope, not doing that either." That's a that's another boo boo I would be making if I did that. And the reason being is, so I can do it without it. Trying to get that in there as tight as possible. That's another thing you look for when you're looking at cars, is the rubbers on the car. You're looking at the rubber on the car because you want to see what if 
it's had any paint jobs done to it. You know, it's one thing you should think about, I guess. Sometimes I don't think about my own advice sometimes when I go look at a car because I'm fandazzled about the car, but... Uh, Yeah, I get that. In. Nope, can't leave that there because there won't be no paint on that filler if I do that. Right? Any tape on anything, that means it's not getting anything. Not, no love. Um, I wish I had a... I'm going to tuck that there a little bit so get paint on that. I'm going to go with that, I guess, as tight as I'm going to get it there. Probably should go up a little bit further. Yeah, we will. What? What will we do? Keep it on this side. Paints a little better on this side. That's gonna. Ugh. Looks like it's gonna fail at any point in time. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that like that. See how I got that tape rolled up like that? I'm gonna take this tape here. Ow! I don't know if I should do it on the other door or not. I'm gonna take this tape here. And I'm going to take it across here like that. I'm just going to touch the back side of the tape and leave the front side. Just kind of leave the front side of it tucked up somehow here. I think it would give me a little softer of a line if I. Maybe do that. Not interested in going paint all up inside the quarter panel on the door part. I'm not sure what's happening there. Well, we don't want oh, that to get any. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully, I can do that small piece. Now, I am not, I am not the um, paper tape paint guy. I am, I'll do it. I've done enough of it, but um, I don't do it every day, that's for sure. Maybe once in a while. So I'm not the fantastic at it. There is some people that are really fantastic. You'll find most of the people that are really fantastic at doing this stuff is the collision work. The boys, the boys can tape up some stuff. The ones I've seen and worked with, they really can tape something up really quick. I can too if Jolene's right behind me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I may as well just do that. Jolene's going to help me and do cam work. She's my lady. Yeah. You'll find when I've painted a few cars in my day, and the ones I've painted that I have welded the fenders on and got the quarter panel here, when you spray here, the overspray goes over there and it dries that fender. And then when you go to spray that fender there, the, the material goes over there and dries that area. It's a, it's a, it's a, what can I say? It's a hard thing, that, that, uh, that process. You're almost better off to, um, you know, paint one side and tape the other side and try to bring it together, I guess. I'm trying to flop this up, because I don't want that piece of paper. And I don't think, uh, I've never done any blending paint jobs. You blend the stuff. I'm just gonna paint it. I'm just gonna paint it. It's really what it needs. It's just to be painted. It'll stay after I get enough tape on it. I make a tent here so it can't get away. The paint that is. Nah. 
That's not going to work. That's not going to work. I probably should be able to paint it. Like Jimbo paint it without even taping it. Shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Huh? Probably should be able to. Probably the best way to do it. Spending too much time on it. Don't want to have it. Other tape. You got it around your wrist, sweetie pie. Thank you, that was quick. There we go. Ah, now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. <laughs> Piece of paper off. Put that up. Put some tape on that. Piece of tape and do it a little bit better. Get on that door. Get that paint going ahead there. Don't care about the hinge, I don't think. Get some paint on it. So I'm gonna go with right there, I think. I'm throw the plastic thing down on top of it, and then we'll mix some paint. I actually wanna paint that black first time. Let's do it black. Move the stuff out of the way. Kind of a small area, but it will make it look better, that's for sure. We'll do a before and after. Joanie's getting, doing, doing different posts on doing picture posts I guess it's called more pictures I find on the thing is pretty cool I like that shows more what's going on have not like I said like the other side I just filled it out and then I'm actually gonna see it for the first time or as you get to see it how's that it's gonna go easy for a second reason I'm painting it black is because you won't see through the paint. That's the reason why I'm seeing paint black. Sometimes you have different colors in behind something. You had like a the red oxide and then the light brown and then the metal color. It really can fool with you when you're painting something. Now, as you can see, I'm making the repairs Kind of, what can I say? Um, as quick and dirty as I can. And what do you mean by quick and dirty is, I'm not going through the primer process, I'm not going through all the uh, 300 and the 400 and the guide coat process and taping it up again, blowing it off, not going through all that process. All I'm trying to do is make something look uh, that much better when it was uh, that much. So it's just kind of helping it out a little bit. We'll leave that dry for a second. Let's mix some paint. Let's mix some paint. Uh, I have some paint over here. We do not know if it matches. Um, I'm not sure if we care or if I care, to be honest with you. Like it's got primer showing on it and that sort of place. I'm just gonna, I really don't know if I care. I would like to see it. I'd like to see it uh, match, that's for sure. This stuff is, let's look at the can. 412, so I'm thinking four parts paint, 
one part hardener and two parts reducer. That's what I'm thinking. This table's nervous. It looks like it's going to break right there, don't it? It's going to break. That's what it's going to do. See them in the middle? Uh, da, 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 da. All right, let's go easy. Don't trust the table. There's our paint color. Seen it yesterday. Four to one is the, the ratio. <laughs> Just kind of. Also, where I've done this repair, I don't want. I don't want the. I don't want the. I want to put the primer on with a little bit of texture. That's not bad. I mean, I, it's not bad. I want to put the primer on with a little bit of texture to give myself. What can I say? To give myself what? What they have. A little, I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm looking for. I don't even want to be able to keep saying it. I'm looking to paint it. All right. I don't think we're going to use much paint at all, to be honest with you. But I'm going to go on the two. This is how you mix this stuff. Right on the can, it says. Where did it say that? Right there. See that 412? Mm hmm. 412. You can mix it by eye. This is this is called suggested. Suggested. So I go to this is my 412. You can get these sticks. I'm spraying nascent. This is a nascent stick, so I'm four parts paint. So wherever I decide how much paint I want, um, so if I want three, that's the paint, uh, four. If I want this three, well then I go one on the hardener and two on the reducer. So I stay on that three. To keep me, to give me where I want. So if I mix, I'm going to mix two because I'm going to go, um, I don't think I need a full cup of paint. But it's really not that much. We'll go with two first. So I'm going to go with that much paint to the two. And the one will be the two on the, with, the, with the activator. And the two there will be the reducer. That's what I'm going to do. And yes, this cup makes my paint thinner because it's not the right shape. Yes, it does. And I do not mind because I find it goes on nicer. And I find, what do I find? A little thinner, which obviously I'm gaining on the reducer side of it when I'm putting, using this cup, which makes it thinner. I enjoy that. I like using uh, clear coat hardener with my, this is just a, uh, a urethane, like the colors in, like the, the clear coats in the color, it's a urethane. And I like to use, instead of using, you can get, you can get two different kinds of hardeners, I'll show you, why not? Why not? Oh, it's not there. Where'd I put that little box? Ah, that little box is over there. You can get two different kinds of hardeners. That's your clear coat hardener. I asked for that. Didn't know if I had any or not, but I got some. A nap is always good. And this is your, your urethane hardener. So there's two different kinds. That's a single stage. I'm spraying a single stage paint right now, but I'm using the clear coat hardener. <laughs> This paint basically is clear coat with the color in it, <laughs> basically. If I can get that off. That's just used with hardeners. Now we're going to go to two on this bad boy. I want to see if I got some reducer. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But I got some in there. Just like to... That's what I didn't have was the clear, was the reducer. If in doubt, just order it all, basically. Thanks, Jolene, for your help this morning. Okay. You're going to help me again put the sheet, the covering over. Mm -hmm. Jolene got me coffee in bed this morning.
We like our coffee black, don't we? Mm -hmm. What do we, how we like our whiskey? Neat. Neat. Atta girl. And there's no grass growing underneath our feet. <laughs> Is there, baby? No. Huh? No. No. No grass. Keep moving. Keep moving. All right. That's how much paint we got. Now it would be thinner than if I mixed it in a uh, mixing cup. No doubt. By not by much. Not by much. Nothing that um, we're gonna gotta open that door. Get that sheet on. I I can actually take the hose this way for now and spray this way because I'm gonna open the door. We're gonna open both doors and I'm gonna do it that way, but we'll get the plastic sheet on it. But uh, just gonna take this down. And like, as I'm doing this, to me, certain jobs deserve certain, certain things. Like if I was building a show car, no, there'd be no chance that we'd be out here doing this. I'd probably be in a suit, Probably do, the, probably do the best I can at everything. But where we're not there, that's when you do certain things to get where you're going. It'd be foolish to, for me to, you know, try to make this something that it's not. <laughs> It'd be foolish. All we're doing is having... Having a little fun, putting some paint on it, make it look a little better. And I'll tell you one thing else. Um, if we were to sell it the way it was, great. If we were to sell it with it paint on it and fixed up a little tiny bit, there's a big difference. Big difference. It's like selling a clean car or a dirty car. Big difference. You go there and see a clean car, it's all cleaned up, wheels are all cleaned up, wheel wells are all blacked out. Phew, big difference. Uh, you want to put the cover on? Uh, please. Okay. Joanne's going to help me put the cover on. We're getting close to painting this bad boy. Uh, I hope I can open one of these doors. I got both of them taped up, sort of. And I got another one of these plastic covers, but I got a good one for this, for this one. For this, for painting this car. I got a good one, clean one. We're just going to put it on and hope... Well, just don't get no paint on the rest of the car, that's all. Not that it would hurt it any. Would it, baby? Yeah. It'd be called patina, wouldn't it? Which way do you want to go? I think the red is for the front. Yeah. For, I think it's just for the, for the size and the length of it. Yeah. That's what I think. The red means. We'll get it. Stretch it out. How are you feeling about your side? How are your? Yep. Rock it over? Yep. I'm holding my bumper. I'm holding my bumper. Good, awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? Um, we could have been inside the door, we could have, but... We could cut that mm. and tape that right there. Look at that. Huh? Down there would be fine. I'm not... Yeah, whatever you think you can get. Yes? We'll cut that spot out. Or a razor blade, and then we'll tape that to that. Does that sound cool? Sound good to me. Is that good to me? Razor blade, razor blade. Come to me. Um, Do you know where the razor blades are, sweetheart? No, I haven't used one lately. No? You want scissors? That's too... Well, scissors would be okay, but razor blade would be nice. There they are. Dirty bee. Got tape?
just going to cut this plastic where the green tape is. And then Jolene can tape it to the green tape. And then the, hopefully we can call it masked off. I'm lucky to have an assistant like Jolene. Lay that down there, wherever you want to lay it. Can I cut that? Can I cut that? Yeah. Got on. I don't know if that's going to get it for you or not. Yeah, you get it. You want some wide stuff? Um, does it matter? Uh, this side is kind of uh, a little bit different. <laughs> I think we're good just like that. Yeah! I think we got her. Put this razor blade down. That wide stuff, did we have that? Right there, there it is right there. That makes it feel good. good with this side I think yeah. I think so I'm gonna spray a little bit of more black on it I think I'm good what do you think with that side how you feeling with that side um. oh yeah that's good enough here just let's, let's stick this in there okay we can just I got some bigger like some big tape over here you want to try the big tape and stick in there right there on the seat just try to shove it in there mm. Stop it. Let that thing tape come off there. Jeez, can't have that. Come on, tape. Say that's enough paint, and then I'm gonna I'll spray. I have to check it. I can't even see it. Ooh. That's fine. How you making it over there, sweetie pie? What? How you making it? Good. That makes me feel good about things. You're making it good. Yeah. That means we all. That's good. That good. Are you gonna shut the door? What's that? Can we shut the no. door? No. Just leave it like that. It's, it's not going nowhere. That's fine. That's not going nowhere. We didn't put a little tape on that yet. Don't listen to me. <laughs> we'll take Fina's dog hair out of it, but I'm thinking it would be something that probably would be in the paint job. Wouldn't be a paint job without Fina's hair in it, would it? So, I'm going to probably put some paint in the gun. Paint this bad boy. I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm not going to worry about it. And the reason I'm not going to worry about it 
is because I'm telling myself that. I'm putting that in my brain right at the present moment. Do not worry about a thing. The paint over this side, and uh, this tray bomb paint, it'll dry quite fast. But this side is ready for a coat of paint. I need to get my mask. Yes. I'm just, I'm just going to get a, what those, one of the face masks on. I'm going to open the door. All right, I'm going to open the doors. The big one is going to open this big one here. Obviously. It's not obviously, but just hold this back a little bit. Kind of a nice day, actually, for doing something like this. Got a little bit of a, a rainfall going on. Just going to open the front door so she'll, she'll whoosh, blow right out the door, is what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's put some paint in that. I'm not going to filter it. I'm not going to. Not going. I'm not going to filter it. Just going to paint it. Talk myself into it, see? Talk myself into it. Hope things work out in our favor. That's all I'm thinking. Hope things work out in our favor. I'm going to put a mask on. Ah. i do this way. Yes, do this way first. It's been so long. It's been so long. I'm going to knock the pressure down on this bad boy by squeezing the hose. I'm going to blow it off first. Right. No worries. Let's do it. I'm going to put a little bit on. As you can tell, the paint's going out nice, isn't it? Yeah. Going out real good. Let's go to the other side and put a little paint on that. Leave that for a second. And, uh, nope, gonna, just actually I'm gonna touch it, see if it's okay. And it's kind of damp, right? Just touch it a second. Just wanted to be careful about the other side. Right around the hinges in the back of the door. Get them a little bit better. Ah. Let's be honest. Who thought black was a mistake? <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Like as I sprayed that door black, if I sprayed it a different color, <laughs> you could... Okay. Yeah, so I'm just saying the, the color of choice that we get with the black, with the, with the value shade, I think is, is good. I'm going to spray this other side. What the hay? What the hay? Yeah, let's spray it. I don't even what it looks like. It's hard to see what it even looks like. There it goes. There's what it looks like. Let's uh, put that between my legs. Too much pressure. Ah. 
I'm in love. Looks nice, you know, to start with. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is um, I'm going to, I'm probably going to shut the door for a minute. We'll pause it, and then we'll come back and play the second coat. Like, I just can't keep painting it. And the reason I can't keep painting it, because it'll be down there. Um, and I don't want it down there. I just want to put some paint on it. But it's looking really good. Looking really good. You must give us a chance here. We'll get her done here. But it's looking really good. So let's put that gun right there. I want to put the door shut. And the reason being, I just want to put the heat back in the place. Opening that door and that going release so quick, that's, that worked fantastic. We'll pull that door down. Don't get your hands caught in there. I've done that before. You ever do that, sweetheart? No. Get your hands caught in, the, in one of those. And what do I mean by that? Just get your hands caught in there. No. It squishes your fingers quite quickly. So we're just gonna let that set for a minute. It's not looking bad. You really can't even, I can't even see no scratches in it. You know what I mean? The sand scratches, can't see no scratches. Uh, we did the exact same thing on this side as I did on the other side. Just um, aided it, 220'd it, lacquer spray on, get it black so I can paint it. And uh, basically there, we're getting where we're getting. Um, you can tell that there's been, you know, there's been work there, but that's, that's the whole, it's the whole thing, you know, I didn't go for it blocking it all out and priming it and making sure there was nothing there. I did it one time and we're going for it. It's looking good. Alright, we're just going to open the doors for second coat. That's all I'm doing. Just want to move that back. Uh, Jolene touched it with the back side of her hand. The reason she touched and what you go when you go to touch the paint on the car to see if it's okay to paint again. Touch it with the back side of your hand. Blowing through. Touch it with the back side of your hand. That way there it's the softest touch. So if Jolene comes in here. You don't want to touch the paint like this. Don't touch it like that. Touch it on the back side of your hand so you can feel if it's whatever. See if it's ready. And it seems like it's ready. We're going to put some more paint in this bad boy. Just because we got it there, we might as well use it. Yeah, the, uh, the draw on the garage is acting fantastic right at the present moment because the wind or the, the air is sucking right out of the shop. It's pulling the paint. It's perfect. Perfect. Just hope not too much. Felt that. Just open the hose too much. Give me too much air. Let's give one to the Napa people, don't we? Whoa, that looks good. Awesome. Let's go to the other side. The second coat, we'll probably put three on it. Get, gotta get the hose kinked off a little better. We just want to flush this on. Stop it. I'm gonna go for go with that for now. I'm not looking to put a run in it. We're 
fine. We got all that paper up there. That's good. Excellent. That second coat, we got enough for one more coat, for sure. And uh, man, we did the, looking good. Sometimes it's funny how uh, when you talk to yourself in the brain, it does not matter how good it turns out and all that stuff. You're gonna, you're gonna prepare if it gets a bunch of dirt in it or a bunch of hair in it or whatever. And then you go to spray it and bang, it looks fantastic without, you know. But anyways, we've got one more coat. We'll shut the doors and we'll come back and we do it. Huh? We're getting close. Get a couple seconds. Um, yeah, it's going quick. Let's sprinkle a little bit on. Let's do it. I'm gonna open the door. Gotta remember the process every time. Just trying not to let the door fly up quick, you know, the overhead door, obviously. We'll do a before and after. I'm sure she will with the picture post. See what you like and what you don't like. Let's put a little more paint in her. One thing we can say, we didn't waste any paint. <laughs> you know. Carpenter don't want to waste wood. Or I don't think he does. Some do, some don't, I guess. I'd rather not waste paint. I think that cool brush of air coming in through really helps what's going on. Yeah, like the, for, it's really painting fast. You know what I'm saying? We're painting fast. It's not like we're waiting a half hour. We might be waiting, what, five minutes, 10 minutes? We're almost, almost like a spray boom. But looks good now to be honest with you. Gonna give it that one more touch, I guess. Oh, that done though. You can even still see the crack in the door where I left it, you know, trying to keep as much as we can. Let's go up the other side here. Got this place down here. You want to hold that light for me, sweetheart? Just going to try to get in here the best we can. Remember, we cut this one off. I don't know if it was a good idea or a bad idea, but. That's what we did. What I'm finding really hard to do is um, the 220 not showing scratches in the the putty. I think I'm good there. What do you think? Looks good to me. A little bit more down on the bottom there, just for see if I can't get a run in it. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna call that Finny. Blowing paint this way. You gotta be careful. Everything's got a little dust on it, that's good. So basically, we're done with the paint job. That's basically all I want to do. It's what I want to do. Um, we'll, Jolene will throw some pictures up, what it looked like and what it looks like now. And then you can decide what you like better, whether you think whatever. 
I don't even know why I toy with that opinion, <laughs> but it's, to me it's kind of funny because anybody in, in, I would think, in the world would want their door looking a little bit better than it did before. I'm not sure. But I'm liking how fast the paint's blowing out. That's nice. Like it's gone. That's good. We're down to shutting the door. I think it's amazing. I think it looks absolutely awesome. I'm going to give you 50. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that, especially for the amount of work. You know, the putty, 80 grit, 220, didn't block it with no primer. You watched me spray it with acrylic enamel, just a acrylic earth lacquer primer and painted it. Didn't sand it, nothing. And I think we're in the money. Have a great day, come back tomorrow and I'll be here.